Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, here we share good food from a Geordie kitchen. Got a lovely recipe for you today. This is for our family's carrot cake recipe. It's the simplest recipe in the world. It's just a stir together jobby and then into a tin and bake. Now I doubled the recipe for this size cake. This is two 23 centimetre cake tins that I have split into four. But you can do the recipe as it is and get a smaller cake or you can do it in a square tin as well and decorate it with the buttercream of your choice and decorations of your choice. So if you want to learn how to make this lovely cake, keep watching. So I just wanted to show you a little cheat that I use. This is grated carrot that you can buy. I've only ever seen it in Asda. I'm not sure if any of the other supermarkets do it, but I just buy this and I pop it in my food processor and I just give it a little whiz in the food processor just to break it up a little bit more. But it saves you grating all those carrots and it's a great time saver. So feel free to cheat <laughs> just like I did. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your sugar, your oil and your eggs together in a bowl and just whisk them together with a hand whisk. You don't need to get your electric whisk out, just stir them all together and you'll get this consistency. And then you add your fruit and your carrots. And stir those through. And then sift your flour and your bicarb and your spices. And then just stir it all together. It's a lovely relaxing bake. And I used two 23 centimetre cake tins which I lined with a circle of grease proof and I gave them a wipe out with my cake release as well. And this went in the oven for 35 minutes-ish on a 180 or the equivalent. And then you want to get, take them out of the oven and turn them out onto a, bit, onto a cooling rack, sorry. <laughs> and this is then from the oven peel off that baking paper and let them cool entirely, cool completely on the baking rack. And when they're cooled you can split them or you can just bake, um, sorry, ice them is two layers but I like to split mine again in two and I use a, a bread knife to do this because I like the four layers so I just like to separate them again and then I use the ready-made icing was the Betty Crocker one I used, yes. <laughs> and I used three tubs for this size. Now obviously you can make it smaller but this was a this was a gift cake so we made a bit of an effort. You just want to sandwich those layers all together 
with your choice of buttercream. Now you can't even if you if you don't want to use buttercream, you can use um, some glacier icing, and it's also nice if you use the glacier icing to use a little bit of orange juice and some orange zest in that glacier icing and just pour it over the top. You don't even have to split it and put buttercream in. So I'm just continuing all those layers, building it up. It was such a hot day when we made this cake as well, so it was just sliding all over when we were trying to ice it. I had to put the buttercream in the fridge. <laughs> it was just going everywhere. And for some reason I put the lid on upside down, but you know, it goes the other way. <laughs> I think the heat was getting to me a bit. <laughs> And then when you get to the, to the top, just add another layer on the top. You can, of course, make your own buttercream. I'm just really lazy. <laughs> Plus I like the taste of this Betty Cro Crocker cream. It's very sweet but it's very nice. So I found these little carrot um, decorations in Asda so I picked those up as well and that's the icing that we use. You can use the cream cheese one to give it more of a traditional carrot cake feel and then it comes to decoration. I just dragged a fork through that icing on the top there and then I used my pint bag just to give little little mounds of icing and this serves 12 so that recipe was doubled and it took 35 minutes at the doubled rate if it was normal I would imagine it would be about 20 15 to 20 minutes we'll keep an eye on it you can always test it with a skewer and see if it's cooked in the middle but mine didn't take long at all Carrots. They were icing those. I thought they were going to be white chocolate, but they were icing. They went on as well. I really enjoy baking cakes, especially when you do it like this just take your time be creative the best medicine in the world I'm looking forward to being better so I can bake again so this cake will keep in the fridge for about a week if it lasts that long it never does in our house but this was a gift so we gave this one away and it was very well received so that's it from me thank you for watching take care everybody i'll see you very soon bye bye 
I went to Blade and Razors, it was on the 9th of June, 1862 in a summer's afternoon. We took the bus for Bamberger's and she was heavy laden, and away we went to like Collingwood Street that's on the boat of Blaydon. And oh, lad, you should have seen us cannon, passing the folks upon the boat.